I'm on a mission to find out why, for Christmas here in the UK, sausage rolls are such a thing. And lucky me, I have Izzy to help me figure it out. Izzy's gonna help us investigate sausage rolls. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it does sound dirty. <laughs> well, we're gonna go on a covert sausage roll mission. We are. <laughs> and then she's gonna show us how to make her own veggie sausage, sausage rolls. rolls. Izzy, thank you for having us to your beautiful flat. Thank you for coming over. This is the one and only Izzy Hussack. If you're not familiar with her blog, <laughs> Top with Cinnamon, check it out. If you're not familiar with your Instagram, Izzy Hussack, Check it out. Let's get down to the real reason I'm here, though. Yeah. The what? only reason you can. The only <laughs> reason. What's the deal with sausage rolls and Christmas in England? At Christmas time, particularly, you get like the little ones to have as a canapé because they're just a crowd pleaser, you know. We got a few different sausage rolls from you know, the high-low sausage roll situation yeah. here in London. We've got a good range here. In addition. You're going to make us one of your recipes. I am, but it's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to do veggie sausage rolls. <sighs> veggie so. sausage rolls, which I didn't even know was a thing. These veggie ones are even better because you can serve them to basically everyone. So even more people can enjoy the sausage roll spirit. <laughs> do they actually taste like sausage? Kind of. So what I do is I like to just put things in that add like a kind of savory depth. So I use Marmite in this recipe, which I know is like polarizing, but if you put it into a recipe, then it isn't so strong. So I feel like even if you think you hate Marmite, if it's in a recipe, it just kind of adds a little umami depth to the recipe rather than just being like super bitter and strong. I also add fennel seeds to this recipe, which is kind of something that you'd find in Italian sausages usually. If you hate fennel seed, you can leave it out, that's fine. Dried oregano, um, smoked paprika. I like using smoked paprika because the smokiness just adds another kind of meaty element to it as well. I've got black pepper, which is a little bit spicy. I just freshly ground that. Garlic to sun-dried tomatoes. These are the ones that come packed in oil, so you don't have to rehydrate them or anything. And they also have quite a lot of umami in them. Did you just basically choose all of the items with the most umami in Pretty much. <laughs> to come like the only, thing, the only thing that's missing is dried mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which you could add. That would be really good. Some English mustard because, you know, just seems appropriate. English, English mustard, sausage rolls, which are English, you know, gotta have it in there. We've also got liquid smoke here. This isn't an essential ingredient. Is usually, <laughs> you usually get it in um, like barbecue sauce. That's what makes it taste smoky. Mm. Got some breadcrumbs for a little bit of bulk to the recipe because we're gonna be blending up chickpeas, which go a bit pasty otherwise. Some olive oil, ketchup, chickpeas that I was saying earlier, that provides like the main bulk of the actual recipe. I'm gonna put you know, the tougher ingredients in first. Let's get these spices in. You can use barbecue sauce if you want here instead, and then you don't have to use the liquid smoke. Marmite. And because marmite is actually quite salty, you don't really need to add salt to the filling. So let's blend that again. Scrapey scrape. Little scrapey scrape. Little scrapey scrape. <laughs> Oil. Mustard. Fennel seeds in. And then you just want it on quite a high heat. You're just going to leave them to toast until you can kind of smell the fennel seed smell because that's when you know that all the oils are kind of coming out and that it's going to taste really good. So Izzy, uh, will you show us our, your studio? Oh yeah, welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit messy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where the magic happens. It is. Um, I recently graduated from university and moved out of my parents' house. So <laughs> finally an adult. <laughs> How does it feel? It's great. And our last ingredient, liquid smoke. Do you want to smell? Yeah, I do want to smell. It just smells like barbecues. It's so good. <laughs> I'm kind of freaked out by like, <laughs> this is all just coming from a liquid. The way they make it is that, so they either can collect the vapor that comes off of it and condense it, or they like soak the chips that are burnt in water and then they use the water. So it's just literally from like barbecue. It's nothing weird. And our final blend. Oh. 
So I just made a little flaky pastry to go with this. You can just buy some puff pastry or some short crust pastry from the supermarket if you want to. So you just want a bit of flour so that your pastry doesn't stick, basically. And you can see like little pieces of butter still in there and that's gonna give us that flaky texture. So we want this to be 55 by 15 centimeters. Very precise. That is very precise. Very so precise. Do you, are you actually gonna bust out a ruler? <laughs> oh, I've got <laughs> my kitchen measuring tape. Best Christmas cracker present ever. <laughs> a little bit longer than 55, so that's great because then we can trim the sides. I'm just gonna use a little bit of those scraps to fill in any gaps. That rhymed, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> to do like a Dr. Seuss video where you hear a whole recipe of the rhyme. We should do that. <laughs> also make sure now that it's not stuck at all because we're gonna fill it. So after this, there's no chance to unstick it if it's stuck. Gently get in there and that's why you don't want it to be stuck to the surface. Yeah, that would be a problem. It would, wouldn't it? Now I'm trying to make this kind of rounded shape here. So it looks like, so a, it looks sausage. like a sausage. <laughs> now we'll do a little crimpy crimp. A little reshape. We've got sesame seeds and we're going to do an egg wash on them and then sprinkle the sesame seeds on as well. And we're just going to put them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees C, which is like 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Bye. So beautifully wrapped. That's giant. <laughs> Look at that next to all the other ones. Aww. Oh. Hey, size isn't everything. <laughs> <laughs>
and we've got a little bit of layering going on but I didn't laminate it so we're not going to get full-on flakes but it should be quite nice and like crisp a little bit crumbly flaky texture and it's got a nice golden brown color to it mm. 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 yeah mm-hmm mm. mm. that is good in fact I mean it's got more flavor mm. than this really delicious sausage roll, I think. Mm. You know, it's, it's really, it's well seasoned sausage, it's really good, it's got some spices, but this is more like flavor forward. Yeah. This veggie roll does not disappoint. It's kind of a quirky spin on a sausage roll, and you know what that means. Izzy, tell them what not to forget. Keep it quirky. Always. Yes. yes. <laughs>